Hey, Don Copeland here with the Compress IUP 600S, and uh, we've been doing these videos for quite a while right now, so we have a lot of fans. So we decided, why not print on them? All right. So what we have here, these are actually um, it was cheaper, believe it or not, to go to the local uh, home improvement store and buy a ceiling fan than it was to buy the blades. We we bought these. We wanted to show you a little bit about how you could embellish. We're doing some smaller ones. You can do any size depending on the printer, uh, up to 24 inches wide on, on the 600S, uh, up to, I don't even think they make 45 inch ceiling fan blades, but you could do the larger ones on the, the 1200S. But what we've done is we've actually set up a, an outline here, and I'll, I'll jump over real quick here in a minute and show you the software. We've actually printed out the outline of each of these fan blades. We're going to lay them in on it and then we're going to print out the color layer on it. So let's jump over to the software real quick and show you what we've done to get to this far. All right, this is our uh, Compress UV designer. And uh, as you can see right here, we have laid out, as you see, there's a layer one, a layer two. We're actually looking right now at layer one, and that is the actual physical outlines of the blades themselves that we just showed you on the bed there, which is what we printed out on the bed. What I'm going to do next would be that I would turn this layer off, and then I would go to this layer, turn this layer on, and this is actually the actual art that we're going to print out onto each of the blades. We have a bleed on this about a quarter of an inch to make sure we get a full coverage. What we're actually going to do is once we're done with this, is we're actually going to turn over and print on the other side of the blade just to show you another example of, of the type of printing you can do. You might even want to print on both sides of the blades. I don't know, maybe you could change them for the seasons and whatnot. All right, so let's go ahead. We're going to take this, pull it into our rip already. We've processed it out. As you can see here, this is crazy. Uh, we have a little, we play a little game here whenever we do. Wonder how much it costs to print. We all missed by a mile on this one. These things are costing 23.5 cents, 05 cents to print. Put it in the rough numbers, six cents for each one of these to be printed. So we're going to go ahead, load up the uh, the fan blades, and get them printed. We got our fan blades already loaded up on here, and we just sent the print job over. As we mentioned, 24, 23.05 cents, six cents per fan blade to print these. Um, we did a little research on this, and you can find online Etsy stores, things like that, fan blade sets that are custom printed anywhere from about $60 to $100 a set. Uh, and I'm sure that if you're doing large quantities of fan blades, that you can get them at a pretty good price. Uh, but suffice to say, even in this situation, we bought the entire fan for like $23 bucks just to get the fan blades, right? Uh, so it's, it's pretty easy to see that you can get a pretty quick turnaround. You can do this for something, you know, for kids' rooms with uh, superhero characters or, or cartoon characters, things like that. Somebody who's got a cabin, um, maybe something that has to be some kind of outdoor thing, like deer antlers or, you know, an outdoor fishing scene or something like that. Uh, one of the, the one we're going to do after this is actually kind of a, an outdoor type of uh, mosaic type of, of screen. We kind of go for a nice outdoor on a, a Florida room or a, an eye, something like that. Um, but it's just a huge opportunity, uh, just another way that you can take the printer. Easy item to print, they're flat, uh, easy to, to, once you get a, a design you can lay it out, just drop in the artwork and just, just rock and roll on. As you see we're, uh, we're about done here, about two thirds of the way down the, the blade. What we're going to do when we're uh, finished with these, we're actually going to flip them over and I've been corrected. The phrase I was looking for is a botanical pattern. Uh, we're going to print a botanical pattern on the other side, and uh, we're actually going to put a white underbase on these because they actually have like a wood grain finish to it. So we're going to actually hit them with a white and then come back and put the uh, botanical pattern on the other side of these. Mm -hmm. Alright, so that's the side we just printed. That was a white side. and. Just as any fan blade you get, they always have the other side, and it's always some kind of veneer or something like that. We're actually going to print over this in white, and then going to put a pattern across the whole bed here, so we don't have the standard. Like this is a fixed one design on each one of these, so we have a random design across all four of the blades. We're going to do that in a minute here. Okay, as we talked about, we were printing on the other side of the fan blade just to, because we can. We got the fan blades, we're going to maximize. So what we've done is, is we're printing on the side that had the veneer on it that actually had a. Uh, like a wood grain type of finish, and we're overprinting those right now with white. And uh, so we're just going to let this print for a minute or two here, let the, the white get covered, and we'll show you in a bit the software what we did to set this up and set it on over. All right, so what we've done is we've gone ahead and we've printed the fan blades white because they had that veneer, that wood veneer on them. And uh, we're getting ready to send over a pattern. This is a pretty cool pattern. Actually, what we did is we brought this into our designer 
and we basically created a mask here. And so this is one continual design that we're just going to spread over the fans. So the, actually, the fans are all going to have a slightly different pattern on each one of them. We've set it over here. You see, these are a little bit more expensive to print than the others, which are really light pastels. $1.91. So we're still less than 50 cents, which is over slightly more than 45 cents for each one of these fan blades to print. Uh, if they were on a solid white, we did have to print some white ink on them, but we're still, believe it or not, we're still under $6 total printing these, including printing the white. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and send these on over now, and we're going to see what it looks like when we come out the other end. Wow, we're seeing them start to come out here now. We're seeing the colors going down on top of uh, the white. This is amazing. They're, they're all different, but they're all the same. They're so, just a, a great pattern. I think it's be something that anybody would love to have on their ceiling fan blades. And it's a simple design. We I think we actually bought this design online for six or seven bucks. And we can use it and scale it up any way we want to. It's a vector file, so we were able to make it exactly the size we wanted. But it's a great way to use your printer for another, another method of making money that is uh, it's really straightforward and simple to do. It's a flat item. I mean, a lot of the times we're playing around with things that are difficult to deal with. Very straightforward, flat item, and uh, easy enough to lay on the bed, clean up when you're done. And uh, you can make 60, 70, 80 bucks on a set of these. Wow, they're done. Here we go. Uh, we said, you know, we have a lot of fans of the Compress UV. And uh, here's just another example of them. Look at these fan blades. These are amazing. Actually, I I don't know if I'm, what I'm seeing in the viewer here is almost psychedelic <laughs> when I move them like that. And you see, we have four of them, and they're all different. Same pattern, spread across four of them. What a great way to, to just make them different but the same. They look awesome. I, I'd love to see these in motion. We may have to set up the ceiling fan in here and just to make it a big one. So one side, we printed this city, city uh, print. Over On the other side, we printed a white base because it was already in a wood veneer. If you just had white blades, you wouldn't have to do that. And... Uh, did these things for anywhere from, these are about six or seven cents a piece because they're on a white. These could we had to put the white down and to put down the color on top. These are only about six bucks to print, about a dollar and a half for each one to print. So just a, another way that you can get creative, find a, find ways to make money with your printer by hooking up maybe with companies that sell ceiling fans, people who do uh, you know, renovations, things like that. Just great opportunities. One more way you can keep the printer, printer humming along and make an extra money with a compressed IUV. This is the 600S. We also have the big boy, the 1200S.